Happiness through curiosity on the Ranveer Show. Welcome to TRS Clips. All right, Dr. Prabhakar, it's time for the meat of the podcast. What do you think we're going to talk about? <laughs> <laughs> I have no clue. <laughs> we're going to talk about another form of aliens. <laughs> um, there is a conspiracy theory from all over the world which talks about a reptilian race that lives along with us. The weird thing is, in ancient India, we also have a theory like that. It's the Naga theory. The Nagas, the Naga yes. people. What is the Naga theory, sir? Like, uh, I think there's a mention of them in the Mahabharat as well. Like, yes. b- they saved Bhim's life when he was a child. That's all I remember. But the Nagas keep coming up in ancient Indian culture. So what does uh, the world of archaeology say about this? Or are they depicted on temple walls? Uh, yes. Uh, when you see uh, the depiction of a snake, mm. uh, and... Um, if you would see most of the temples, we have one way or the other, the depiction of snakes everywhere. Mm. So this is, we have to understand that it's an ideology which is behind it. So we have a whole philosophy, again, uh, matriarchal in its origin. Uh, and they again, uh, and there are so many stories, even in Africa for that matter, or, uh, you know, even in India about... Even they have their version of Nagas. Yes. Okay. Because it's it's something which is which permeates or which which really percolates through the domain coming on to you know India and then going on to China. So this is a tribe which was very strong, uh, strongly intertwined uh, with nature. That's for sure. Uh, they also understood the cycle of uh, life. Mm. They also understood the cy- cycle of mind. Okay. You know how it grows as a human being how you know and it is depicted in different uh, phases you know so so they understood different philosophy it was a very uh, deep uh, it had a very deeper base if you could call it that mm. and it also gave power to women as i said before so whether it is a decision making or whether it's property uh, most of it or many of it which, which you would still see in uh, societies in kerala you know, Karnataka, many places. So again, like uh, you would see uh, vibrations and going across to uh, China where, I mean, if you would see some feats which are done by women, you would see, is this a woman really so strong? Like here, I mean, we have a depiction again, it's a is a societal mm. depiction of a woman being coy, not very strong physically. I mean, is this really a woman, as in physically, even physically strong, like, mm. you know, apart from the mental aspect of it, the physically strong aspect mm. of it. This is something which is like highlighted and it is, it reverberates again mm. and again. Mm. But, but do you think that it was actually maybe dinosaurs that evolved into like this slightly advanced race? Again, uh, the reptilian part of it, crocodiles also like are, uh, you know, again, we have a thing with crocodiles, whether it's, uh, you know, Vishnu saving uh, the the elephant from the crocodile or mm. even, yeah, there are different tales about crocodiles which keep propping up here and there. Now, it could be just one of, uh, you know, stories, but it could also be saying a story about something else. Now, crocodiles among, again, scientifically looking at it, it's one of the older uh, Uh, beings. It's the only dinosaur that still exists. Put it straight. (laughs) So again, uh, if you're looking at it that way, so now the reptiles, they they are all coming together in this, they are echoed more in this tribe. Mm. So could it have been that it is carrying a message from uh, before of, of something which existed which doesn't exist now? What, what do the stories say? I believe, I think you said something on the balcony that there are legends that they were kind of driven away or they left human culture or something like that. Yes. Uh, now, stories which have a very strong uh, matriarchal or a maternal influence. Now, I would touch a little uh, with, uh, you know, I go on to Christianity a little bit, wherein the, the stories of Mary Magdalene uh, were... You might say maybe it never existed. Maybe it's not the truth. But uh, Mary Magdalene, uh, though we give her importance, the importance is just like, you know, uh, Jesus is, uh, you know, a person who Jesus knew. Like, mm. But her place in, you know, in the, the different Bibles available, uh, she had more power to it. She had more, uh, she had more influence. She was a healer. She was a seeker. So, uh, 
wherein she is uh, labeled a prostitute and you know shelved so that the primary hero still remains Hmm. Thank you for watching this clip. If you want to learn more about this topic, we've curated a playlist just for you, and here's a link to the whole episode.